Hello and welcome to this series of quick vids, which I have designed to be a rapid rundown of the 10 non-fiction texts from the Edixcel IGCSE English Language Anthology for Paper 1. The intention is that these are not detailed line-by-line -line analyses, but rather quick reminders in under five minutes to supplement your own prior knowledge and understanding of the extracts. These videos are ideally for use during revision sessions just before your mock or real exams. I will swiftly remind you of the context and content of each of the pieces, point out the key themes along with a few structure and language features. They should provide you with a springboard to go on to further more detailed revision. You might want to pause this video at certain points to read or make notes on the annotations. From The Danger of a Single Story by Chimamanda Ngozi. Adichie is a Nigerian writer whose novels are inspired by Nigerian history. In this very powerful speech, delivered in Oxford in 2009, she warns that we risk serious cultural misunderstandings if we are aware of only a single story for each person and country, and forget that everyone's lives and identities are composed of many overlapping stories. She uses her personal experiences to warn, guide and advise us all. Themes. Themes include dangers of stereotyping, cultural identity, narrow-mindedness, ill-informed judgment, the power of stories. Structure. The speech takes us chronologically through key times in the writer's life. It starts with Adichie's recollections of her early reading of Western stories and how they influenced her own youthful writing. She then recalls her introduction to African literature and how she realised there was no single story of what books are. There is a narrative and reflective approach as we are taken through Adichie's experiences in Nigeria when she went to America as a student where she faced her roommate's stereotypical expectations of her, and then as a visitor to Mexico, where she herself was guilty of stereotyping. There is effective use of short one-sentence paragraphing to emphasise key points, including her final polemical point. There are patterning and repetition in sentence of final structures. Language. Key features include generally very straightforward vocabulary choices. Look for examples of listing, repetition, use of singular and plural personal pronouns. I hope this has been helpful. Please like, comment and subscribe for similar content. See you in the next one.